and you go crazy. So, um, were you ever like exposed to porn at a young age? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, my father was addicted to porn. <laughs> So, you know, um, and in the house that I, in the, like the first house that I grew up in when I was probably like four or five, you know, getting ready to go to, you know, not even, you know, in preschool, not even in kindergarten yet. Um, we lived in a house where there were no doors. So you come in, you go straight to the kitchen, you go straight to their room. My room was right next to theirs. There's no doors connecting any, like anything or whatever. So. My dad would think that I'm asleep sometimes. He'll be up watching porn, you know. Um, I heard my parents having sex. They had magazines. I'd go to my cousin's house. My, um, my aunt's son, he was addicted to porn as well. He had porn magazines everywhere. We're badass kids. So, you know, when, we, when, when they're gone or whatever, we're snooping around, finding all their shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's how it starts, right? <laughs> Uh, so was there ever a situation where you were uh, molested or anything as far as? You know, I've never been penetrated, you know, but I have been touched by um, older male, like by a older male cousin. And one time one of my mom's boyfriends um, tried to shave my coochie. Tried to shave? Yeah. You say your mom boyfriend? Yeah, my mom's boyfriend. He, he shaved my coochie. <sighs> or he, I don't think he actually, I, you know what, I think he like got close up to it and like, sup, you know, supposedly got this epiphany, like, oh my God, this, but he, he definitely saw my coochie and was ready to shave it. <laughs> really? Yeah, like guys are weird, you know? Um, and I, like one time he hit me up, like this is after I had went viral or whatever. He had um, got in my DM or whatever, and got in my DM or whatever, um, you know, trying to kick it. And I'm like, bro, like, I remember what you did and this and that, and he got pissed. Like, you were, you were, in so many words, I was, I was asleep. And this, I was like 13, 14. And this is what he's telling you? Oh, yeah. And he was a grown man. He's telling me, oh, I was fast. I was a slut. I was this and that. I walked the bam as if I wanted his old ass and, you know, in my face. So when you say shave your pussy, though, what do you mean? Like, he, and I mean, you know, this is a long time ago, but we were at home because he lived he lived with us at the time we were at home by ourselves um i can't go into like detail detail but i remember him wanting to shave my coochie but i don't think he actually did i'm i'm pretty sure that um you know like we were i was about to let him you know you know what i'm saying like i you know i don't Again, and I, and I probably knew that it was wrong, but I think I was just like afraid to say no or, um, you know, just didn't want to say no for whatever reason. Um, but he didn't actually shave it. Like I said, I've, I like he got like an epiphany or something. He's like, and, and he even talked like when, and this is when I was still a child. Like he even talked to me after like, oh, that was wrong. I shouldn't have did that. And, and this and that were off the bam. And I never told my mom about it or anything like that until I was older. I didn't tell my mom about any of the things that happened until I was older. And honestly, like it's, it's so crazy, you know, there has been a lot of, uh, sexual abu abuse in my family okay. my dad was a rapist my dad has been convicted of rape he was mm. accused of rape and by a lot of my family members and this is something that i never knew about until literally the day that he passed away like like i said my sisters and my brothers are all older than me and um he actually molested my sister's sister when she was young and went to jail for it mm. um so you know i don't know why she didn't you know nobody wanted to tell me any of this before he passed but found out about that and you know he he also has brothers um that are in jail right now for sexual assault so it's it, it's it's crazy for me to say oh all they did was was this as you know what I'm saying because it's it's still wrong but you know on the scale of sexual abuse that I've 
heard other women talk about and you know even my family members and things like that it it feels like minute to just be touched but i mean i i, I know it's wrong or whatever um and like i said i have faced those demons as an adult mm -hmm. yeah yeah, that's interesting. The reason why I ask is because, you know, uh, we've interviewed several sex workers before and um, it seems like the common denominator between all of them is like sexual abuse at a young age, you know, some have been molested um, and, and you know, so they grow up and, you know, become sex workers, you feel? Mm -hmm. uh, so. When I listen to you, when I listen to you speaking, you said, you know, like it's, it, it running your family. You know what I'm saying? It running your family history. Like these are the things that uh, nobody knows. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like uh, so, it's very interesting to, to myself. What I wanted to ask you next was like, uh, you know, now that you are, a, a, you know, you're an active sex worker. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like you are fulfilling your purpose in life? Um, I definitely feel like I'm in a transition period. Um, I've always, you know, had passion, had a passion to help the world in whatever way that I could. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once I started to, you know, build a platform and, um, you know, start seeing a little bit of money and start, you know, really seeing like, hey, you know, I can, you know, this is something that I could possibly really do, mm -hmm. you know, um, growing up in small Peoria, you know, there was a point, there was a, a time in my life where I didn't even feel like I was good enough to go to college. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, there came a time in my career, well now, now in my career and for a very long time I feel like too good to go to college. Right. Now I want to be an entrepreneur, now right. I want to, you know, um, you know, just like, you know, pave my own way. I feel like I, like, like I can. So, um, to answer your question, I, I feel like I am on the right path. Okay. But I definitely do feel like there is, uh, 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 there's definitely um, a calling mm -hmm. for me mm -hmm. that sex work is getting me to. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> for sure. DJ, you go crazy!